keep raining, keep raining. Um, on the way to a job, and we're gonna do some uh, palm tree pruning today. I don't even know why they call them trees. You know they're actually considered grasses, one of the largest grasses. They're actually not trees because they don't have any secondary growth and they don't have any growth rings. You know, when you cut into a hardwood tree, you get the growth rings. Palm trees just have this mush, this wetness. Um, so anyway, we're, we're not removing anything today. We're going out there and we're going to trim up some sable palms. We're going to clean out some areca palms. We're going to trim a black olive. We're going to trim a palm gam. And we're going to remove actually one palm tree. Um, it's called a bottle palm. Uh, and it got a diseased well known today called Ganoderma and uh, we're gonna remove that so um, I hope you all enjoy the video thanks for watching so this is the the bottle palm I was telling you about it's got that Ganoderma die uh, probably just push it over to be honest with you look at that Look how crazy that is. How crazy is that? You leave it and it and it just That's crazy as hell. See that rock? So this is and I'm using all common names here. These are not their official. Everybody in their own regions kind of call trees their, you know, common names. Very rarely everybody uses their scientific names. But this one right here is known in South Florida as a palm gam. Um, and today we're just going to do some reduction cuts to eliminate some, some weight off the tips reduce some of it off the house, what I can do without hurting the tree. This is your black olive that was probably blown over in a hurricane and got topped, which then created this massive thing. <laughs> and that's a black olive that we call down here, South Florida. And then you have your sable palms and then your areca palms. So we're just gonna clean out kind of like the bases and we're gonna pull out all the, the dead stuff. And then there's one more that I didn't mention in, um, earlier when we were driving here. Another sable is this carrot wood. Um, this carrot wood, we're pretty much going to do the same thing. We're going to do some weight reduction, you know, and we're going to clean up the base of the water sprouts. Um, and we should be good to go. So, hope you all enjoy the video. The boys are over there working, cleaning up the arecas. Those arecas are going to have to be treated. Um, for Ganoderma you can treat you can kind of get ahead of it um, but once it gets a hold and it's too far gone and they they uh, lose that center leader um, of palms there ain't no coming back but you can see all the dead here that one that one's definitely gonna have to be treated see all that dead stuff He's taken out of there. But it's up to the homeowner.
take a minute to show you. So here in Broward County, they have a they have a course that you could take that they they actually mandate you to take to trim trees in Broward County. Uh, the basic tree trimmers course. That you can get an A and a B. Um, I have both. I am currently studying to be a ISA certified arborist. I am not one yet, but um, I have a passion for it, so I enjoy doing it. I enjoy learning. Um, so typically here you want to go a nine and a three they say and that gives the tree the potential of growing to its full potential um, it doesn't cause so much stress on the tree and like I said earlier in the video palm trees are not even a tree they're a grass so um, yeah so I hope you took something from that thanks for watching so what I'm going to kind of do here is I'm going to start reducing these limbs back to something of equal size off the secondary growth and um, we'll get it to start lifting up here and thin it out and we'll do a little crown cleaning in here too. We'll take all the dead out and stuff like that. So let's get to work. Right here is a prime example. Uh, you know, this is about his equal size right here. So. What I'll do is I'll take the weight off first, right, and then I'll do my final cut there that alleviated all that. What I'm actually going to do over here is I'm going to move this bottom down. You can see how stressful this has been. so much so make sure you reduce that weight before you do your final cut you don't want to tear and leave that open like that for disease and whatnot Then you come to like a situation like this. See, I should have never, I should have never done that YouTube. I should have, I should have grabbed my nippers for the end nips and tried to not. Whatever, you know, you make mistakes. We're all human. But this is where you're gonna have to make a decision now. Like and, and like, as I look at this situation, right? Do I take this taller branch off or do I take this lower branch off? Um, and by the way it looks as it, I think I'm going to take the lower branch off. Why? Because this has a lot more lateral branches, secondary growth growing off it, than this does. It went too far, and it goes way too lanky to cut anything back to so it'd start lifting itself up. 
So I'm going to opt to take this branch instead of that branch. I can get in here with my nips, right? You can do it the right way without cutting yourself, right? Something of equal size. Take it off, right? Take this little branch off here. Take this little secondary, right? We're good. Swing out there, I'm gonna take a little bit more weight off the ends. Come out here. Alright. Take that off there. Take this off here. Take that off there. Get it in there. Nice and close. Proper cutting. You know, just do the best you can. This one's not as, eh, pretty much. You know, bring it up. Here too as well. That should. I really lifted it up. That really gave it some, some more clearance. You know? We're just gonna work our way through. pouring off and on and I don't want to ruin the GoPro so I'm gonna have to put you away I'll take you out at the end and kind of walk you through it what I kind of did hope you enjoy the video anyway thanks for watching I gotta go too I'm gonna do the best I can here when the chipper's going but we, we reduced some stuff off the house as much as we can I did all my reductions, just hanging down way low, all the way around. I left some water sprouts in the middle here. I guess the last guy that trimmed it over pruned and a lot of sprouts came out. So I didn't want to remove those because I took a lot off the end and I want that energy going towards the end. I don't want them going towards those little water sprouts up the cabbage ponds and I did the same thing here on this black olive on this black olive here I I I did a lot of reduction cuts that's why I didn't clean the little sprouts in the middle but all on the ends here up there up there up there and started to get it going straight up because these were getting way too way 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 you see a good one right there right there get way 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 too much weight on the ends so now that they're up and they're structural if the customer calls us back next year or two years from now we'll be able to get in there and we'll be able to clean up all those little suckers in the middle there and get some weight out of there I took a lot of dead there's a lot of dead in there so I hope you guys enjoyed the video somebody learned something like I said Pretty much what we we did today um, we did some proper palm tree trimming uh, I did a lot of reduction
cuts on both the Palm Gam and the Black Olive. Um, I opted not to take too much thinning of the crown. Um, I just removed a lot of the dead because of the amount of reduction cuts I had to make. I wanted to leave the energy to be pushed towards those ends to close up those ends. Um, so, yeah, man. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Even though it was raining and I didn't get too much chainsaw work in there. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share. And I greatly appreciate the ones who have uh, took the time to watch the channel and, and be with me on the journey. So, thanks for watching. See ya.